Good morning everyone. This is Dan with E-Bike Nation. Welcome to my channel. Today we got very bad weather outside. Um, almost blizzard conditions, I think. Uh, the high winds and temperatures are supposed to drop down to about 8 or 9 degrees for tonight. So yeah, we're doing an inside video today and I figured what a good time to actually uh, talk about some bike helmets here and the safety of bike helmets. So yeah, let's uh, let's talk about it. We're going to start down here on the end, and this uh, bike helmet here is called a Jun Jam. It's got a nice little uh, light in the back. Uh, I ride this uh, every now and then on my bike, but uh, yeah, I highly recommend this one. Uh, this one is definitely rated for e-bikes. Again, I try to put these um, links down in the description box for you guys. And the next one that I would like to talk about is called the Wild Horn. This is kind of a cool looking helmet. It has also got a MIPS rating, as you can see on it. And three of these helmets have that as well, of the five. But yeah, it's got a nice little visor on here that you can lift up and put back down. And um, I wear it every now and then on my bike rides. And then we're going to go to the um, Victorol. This is another one. It's got a nice little uh, visor on it for you. And it's got nice little uh, lights in the back. Well, they'll flash on you. So, yeah, very nice helmet. And I'm going to move down to this one's called the uh, Zacro Cycling Helmet. Um, it's a very light helmet. I'm not sure what the rating is on this. I couldn't find anything on their website for MIPS rating. Um, but, yeah, it's a comfortable helmet. I mean, very lightweight, nice to ride in the summertime. But um, I, don't, I don't ride this one a whole, or use this helmet a whole lot because uh, I'm not sure, you know, what the rating is. And I'll check in on that for you guys as well. Um, it's, it's priced on the lower end. I think you can pick this up for like $29 right now on, um, on any uh, eBay. You can pick it up on Amazon. So, yeah, I'll, I'll put some links on these helmets for you guys. Here is my favorite by far. This is called the Nito. As you can see, it's got different flashing lights on the back. And it's also got a solid light in the front. And you can see the mode changes that this does. So yeah, it's a very cool helmet. Now, what I really like about this, um, they also sent me the liner once it got winter time. I asked for this liner and they sent it to me and I really love this liner. I mean, it's got a liner all the way around the top, and it's also got these little earmuffs, and these things are very warm. So yeah, this one is a highly rated helmet for me. It's called the Nito, X-N-I-T-O. Um, very nice helmet. As you can see, it's got flashing modes, and of course, the different lights on the rear. So yeah, that's another, that's my favorite of all five of my bike helmets. And people ask, you know, and you see it all the time on a bike trail. I see people not wearing helmets on 10 speeds, um, on e-bikes, and they just think they're, you know, nothing's going to happen to them. Let me tell you from experience what happened to me. I was riding my regular Trek 10 speed on a group ride, and I was coming down this hill, and I've done it several times before. And coming down this little uh, pavement, this is on asphalt, we came up on this uh, little bridge that goes over the creek, and it's got a little lip sticking up about that high on the um, bridge. As I was trying to slow down coming down this hill, I accidentally hit the brakes right at that lip. Well, you can imagine what happened. I flipped over my bike. The bike landed on top of me. I landed on my head on the bridge, which if I had not been wearing a helmet, it would have probably been some serious problems for me. So I'm riding with this guy, and he uh, asked me, do I need to call 911? I go, no, I'm fine. A uh, little scrape on my elbow, and that was about it. But if it would not have been for that helmet, I'd have been in the hospital for sure, if, if not even surviving that, that crash. Because I was uh, moving pretty good coming down that whole hill, probably 15 mile an hour, which I should have known better anyway. But these things can happen to the, the best of us. And it happened to me at about 69, 70 years old. I'm 72 now. So the importance of wearing helmets is critical. There's not anything that I can tell you about bike riding that's more important than these 
right here. So yeah, if you guys got any questions about anything, put it down in the comment section. I'll try to put links to these things in the video and uh, share and like and hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell notification and I will see you guys on the next video.